The back segment tonight with Donald Trump achieving a big PR victory by stopping the Carrier Corporation from nearly moving a thousand jobs to Mexico. It's a major buzz in the American corporate structure. Now a company named Rexnord, also from Indiana, says it will fire 300 workers and move its ball bearing business to Monterey, Mexico. As Trump has tweeted, that would be vicious. I prayed, you know, God, just give me some something that I could hold on to, some hope. But then uh, he tweeted. To Rexnord employee Brian Bossom, this late night tweet from President-elect Donald Trump was a small sign. It said, Rexnord of Indiana is moving to Mexico and rather viciously firing all of its 300 workers. This is happening all over our country. No more. And joining us now from Boston, Marianne Marsh here in New York City, Katie Pavlich. So, Governor Sarah Palin, a conservative, is against all this uh, strong-arming the corporations and, uh, you know, if you move, you're going to get slap of the 35% tariff and all that. That's a conservative side. Mm -hmm. Liberals say, you know, Trump is a fascist or whatever. <laughs> what do you say? Well, the left is going to complain about anything that Donald Trump does yes. at this point. Uh, That's Sarah why I Palin's, led with Palin. Right. On Sarah Palin's aspect, there is a very serious conservative economic principle here, and that is that it's great that Donald Trump is able to keep some of these companies here on a case-by-case -case basis, but that's not sustainable long-term. He's got to be able to level the playing field for all companies in the country so that everyone is able to make their own decisions rather than the government. But, that, but he's, then, then we're going to lose because of economic, worldwide economics. You're going to lose really true. thousands and thousand in manufacturing jobs. Sure it is. No, the reason the ball bearing, uh, this, this ball bearing plant is moving down to Monterey is it cuts its labor by a third. Well, look, third. But let's look at what cost businesses that kind of money in this country. Regulations by the Obama administration, 21,000 new no, regulations. No, labor costs. Labor costs, too, but guess what? That's a result of regulation. These overtime rules the president has put into place just in the last year, just blocked by a judge. The EPA no, also costs receive. businesses money. There are things right, that so cost you're against, money that you can take away to level against, the playing field. You're against Trump twisting these people's arms and threatening with a tariff. You're against that. I think he should level the playing field for yeah, everyone. I don't know what level of playing field means. You're against the 35% tariff, yes or no? I'm against him picking winners and losers. I'm against him taxing 35% because ultimately that will be passed on to consumers. Nobody buy other ball the bearings. No, but they'll buy other ball bearings. Right, exactly. They won't buy them because right. not everybody's going to get there. Well, and the cost has to be paid right. for somewhere. Marianne, you say? Well, look, I'm for anybody trying to save anybody's job, and especially blue-collar jobs like the folks in Indiana, every single time. The question is, as Charles said in the last segment, what's Trump going to do? Because now he's set a precedent for every company who threatens to leave the country, they're going to come to him with a ransom note and say, here's what it's going to cost you to keep me here, and then Trump's going to try to have to pay it again and again and well, again. Well, you don't know what he's going to do. You don't know if this. he'll do the same thing every time. That's but the point. It's the 35 percent. do. Well, I, you know what he's going to do on one front, what I just grilled Katie about. He's going to charge companies who leave the United States 35% when they try to sell back to America from Mexico or Ireland or China or Vietnam, wherever it may be. That is what he wants to do. Do you favor that? No, it's going to hurt the very people whose jobs he tried to save because it'll get passed down to the consumers. And but, the as I just time, said nothing. very astutely to Katie, they won't buy the ball bearings from those people. They'll buy them from other people who don't have a 35 percent tariff. Well, that's this is important. a free to Katie, to marketplace. Point, it's not sustainable because company after company is going to do that, number one. And number no, two, they won't do it, it if they have the 35 percent. It does, it does nothing to stop companies as they go to Trump every time to try to get these incentives. They're going to go and build their manufacturing in other places, expand their then operations in other countries. Then they're going to pay the 35 percent. Well, you, asked them die here. you asked about what does level the playing field mean. If he's going to tax certain companies 35 yes. percent, like you said, those yes. people will go buy ball bearings at another company that's not yes. being taxed. If you tax everyone equally, it's leveling the playing field. But the better option is to foster a business-friendly corporate it's environment too in America. It is, it is not. Of course it is. It is not. There are so many things that me, Donald Trump can do to make wisdom. business more friendly let in America. Me, let me impart some wisdom to you, okay? In the last 50 years, the United States has lost manufacturing jobs to China and other third world nations whose labor costs are much less. And the regulations There's no less. level playing field going to compete with that. Not in America. You have to earn a certain wage to live. 
All right, very good, ladies. I'm, I think I dominated that, and I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> it was your segment, Bill. <laughs> yeah, it's my show, I know, but I don't want to be a jerk. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> That's all right. Establish. That's all right. We, we know he's a jerk. Glad we got that. We like you, Bill. Right. That's all right. Plenty more energy factor moves along this evening. Did you